Hey guys, last match of the 32 vs. 32 Level BF Veteran Tier Scrimmage. The new season starts in just a week. This is not a real match, it's just a friendly scrimmage to get people ready to play. Drunken Lions vs. Paracel Pirates this is the second round on Hanan Resort. Remember, you can sign up in the links below if you want to play an opener veteran tier. PC only for now, but it will be next-gen console when Predators come out, I assure you. Let's get into the action. Now we are 20 seconds until we begin the next round. The fourth round. Switching sides. We have Team uh, Roar on blue, and we got Team uh, Team Paracel Pirates on red. Need to switch out them names. There you go. Looking good. Here we are. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. We are going to be live watching the breakouts right now as we are going to be seeing both of the uh, the little birds go heading straight for that Charlie flag. No jets can be coming out for the U.S. team. Not really sure of what the delay is on that, but uh, Charlie flag will be taken by the uh, uh, Pirates team right from the get-go. We have a little bit of fight shaping up on Charlie Flag. Don't know if he's going to be able to take him out as he's already going to be disabled yes. and up against the wall. Oh, and here comes a drop as well. Oh my goodness. Uh, bon Bon takes out Donut who tries to drop out. At the same time, IFV push on Charlie. This is a beautiful breakout here coming out for the Pirates. Look at that mine placing them up into the north of the map. Uh, just everywhere. Look We're at those mines. Nine slams being placed down. And, yeah, they're going to be making their push right onto that Bravo flag. This is a beautiful oh, breakout here comes... coming in here. Wow, what a big push by the Pirates. We do see two players on uh, from Lions pushing on up. We got Boom Baby Mike. He is trying to hold it on his own, but this is going to be tough. Throwing nades. Wow. Wow, just look at that kill feed right now, though. I mean, it is all lions all day long. I mean, this is just, this is bad. Massive infantry push coming in here for the, uh, for the lions as they're trying to get onto that Charlie flag. Might be their demise here as we're seeing a collapse on the backside for drag, or not for dragons, but for pirates here. Yes. Probably will be going into their favor, but B-Flag was also going to be getting contested, and it's now going to be grayed out. B-Flag is also going to be contested as well by the Pirates. Oh, my God. We might be seeing a four cap coming in here for the uh, for the Pirates. Yes. The Lions are not careful. And here comes the cruise missile as well. Where is that cruise missile going to go? I don't know. Let's keep on turning around. But notice that they launched that as soon as they capped that flag. They were launching a cruise missile, and uh, it looks like the cruise missile is going out of nowhere. Uh, it was going way over here on the Charlie flag as he was trying to take out Get Wrecked and uh, do some damage with that attack boat as he was really, really hurting him on that last round. Uh, Alpha flag still going to be getting contested uh, pretty heavily here for the Pirates team. Looking at Bon Bon in the light helicopter. He's still up on Paracel Pirates. Yeah, so at the moment, we are going to be seeing some, some deviation within the attack boats. Once again, we're going to be seeing the burst cannon being used along with the TV guide missile for Rune as he's going to be trying to pull back and defend on that alpha flag. Get a couple of uh, shots coming in there. We do have uh, Don't Hate Me going to be causing a lot of damage. Takes out at least two energy over there onto the alpha. And now uh, we do see a three flag advantage wow. in favor of Lions. Yeah, Loa yeah, for uh, Team P uh, Pirates does take out Nightwing. And moving on though, seeing what else we got. Is that a is that a, a is that a, a UAV? I think I might have just seen a UAV. It's a little stew ab. Dark Times is going to be able to uh, take the artillery, trying to cause a little bit of damage there for his teammates. We have uh, one player from Lions going to be pushing back up, or I'm sorry, for Pirates going to be pushing back up the LAV on the Charlie flag. Does look like they were able to clean out quite a bit of it, get the infantry back up on it. Kloon uh, is going to be back up in his mobile AA, also going to be providing some support onto that Charlie flag. So uh, a very good spread coming out here, I would say, for 
uh, for the pirates as uh, they're, they're really looking good uh, with their infantry and their tank placement. The Dragon Lions pushing very aggressively on Charlie. Not enough players to burn it out just yet, but that can change very quickly. Looking around uh, more generally, we do see Pirates trying to push Alpha, but probably not going to be able to take it out. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think so. Look at Admiral <laughs> Giggles. Is that Admiral, Admiral Giggles? Oh my goodness. Ends up uh, using the, uh, the UCAB to take out the artillery. Nice job, Giggles. Yeah, we also had a cruise missile going to be coming in there just to take out Dark Tines, but it didn't really matter. UCAB was able he to take was him already down. No dead. problem. Already but uh, yeah, so I'd kind of like to see some more back raging happening uh, for the uh, for the lions here. They need to be hitting that echo flag and delta flag quite frequently. I mean, even if you have to, to waste one of your jets to go for a jet drop, I think it would be worth it at this particular time, as they're not winning the fight on the charlie flag. They they do get uh, they'll, they'll get a couple of wipes and they're able to get you know that that initial cap. But then as soon as they do. Coming back in for pirates and able to clean that up quite easily. So uh, a back ridge would, I think, be beneficial at this particular point. Uh, especially if you look at the map, all of the armor is really pushed up on the Charlie. So they'd have uh, quite a bit of work to get back there onto the Echo flag, as well as uh, only one attack boat sitting over here. That's going to be Incarnate, who might actually get C4 here by uh, was this uh, Nainchu or Ninchu? Ninchu. Uh, as he's going to be swimming back over here next to this boat mm -hmm. to uh, be sneaky, sneaky he's little recon sneaky. here. He's and so I think sneaky. he's going to be able to do this. Does he go for the boat? Is he even a recon? What is he? He is a recon. He is a recon. He is a recon. Tell me you're going to go for the boat here, please. No, he's not. Why isn't he going oh my the gosh, boat? I think he's actually going to be going in for the flag, which uh, so unfortunately sneaky. I don't think is the right choice there. So sneaky. <laughs> good stuff. Let's yeah, so they will be going in for that back range onto Delta Flag, so that's looking good for them. Uh, cruise Missile will be coming in uh, for the red team or the Chinese team onto Alpha. I don't think they're going to be able to get but maybe one player at the most. No, he doesn't even get anybody. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was a wasted cruise missile once again. But, uh, I mean, they're, just, they're trickling into this Charlie flag, and they're just dying over and over and over again. There's really not a whole lot that they can do, uh, except for this. Uh, he's still going to be going around. He's going all the way to Echo. He said, screw Del Delta flag. We're going all the way in for the long haul. Onto, uh, onto Echo Flag, so expect a massive spawn bomb going to be coming in uh, back behind there. Yes, he is. He has been. He has just been running like crazy through the water. Who is this? This is uh, uh, Nichu. He is here alone. Mike's the only one that's dead right now. So, I'm, uh, but uh, uh oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dark Tan is in the boat. Will he see? Will he see him? Uh, I don't think he saw him. He didn't see him. <laughs> oh, Nichu, he is. He is back raging like a champ. Yeah, we got some awesome jet fighting happening right now in the sky as uh, two Jack Chats were trying to go at each other there. We're not able to get uh, anything going on, but the uh, stealth jets coming in, I think they both went down in that process. No, they, they may some still. Really nice fighting they, going back and I forth. I think they may still both be up. I'm looking at Loa right now. He's doing a bunch of mad turns trying to get a better angle. Yeah, still going back and forth. This is some crazy flying here, guys. Some of the best of the best. Uh, if you did not know it, we'll be flying within this tournament. So awesome, awesome stuff there. Oh, man. Yeah, Attack Jet's going to be coming back in to try and help him out. Cruise Missile coming down once again onto that uh, A side of the map. Not Well, he gets taken out in midair. So nothing's going to be coming out for that. Hey, Echo Flag did end up getting capped out, so that back rage was successful here. The attack boat and the LAV are going to be coming back, trying to defend it. Yeah, there's it only three, like there's only three or four of them, though, uh, on a Drunken Lions that are trying to hold it. They do end up taking out the, the boat, though. And another uh, push back onto this Delta Flag. So they're going for back rages for days. The problem oh, the thing they have to watch out for is not letting go of Alpha or Bravo. They need to be able to hold at least one of these flags uh, in order to keep that three cap in their favor. 475 to 641. They are definitely behind, but they do have a chance of coming back right now. I think they do. They didn't end up taking out, uh, out Delta. Charlie, they're sort of avoiding for right now. As you mentioned at the beginning of the match, we still see a lot of landmines on this far left flank. That's really stopping them from doing anything uh, from... Uh, Drunken lines pushed on up. 
they really need to be able to, to, to push from Delta onto both Echo and Charlie. Maybe a Fane, perhaps. I do like this position, though. They just need to be able to hold it. Yeah, they are. They're going to need to recap in their favor. Looks like they are going to be successful in holding this right now um, as uh, they're kind of bottlenecking this uh, Pirates team up into Charlie right now. Uh, they're having to cross these islands, which is, is proving somewhat difficult because they do have to expose themselves quite a bit to all this infantry. It's going to be sitting back up onto the... Uh, oh, we do have UCAS coming out. This is going to be uh, Sai as he will not be able to get the kill. Ends up The elevate ends up going down before he can get there. But uh, very, looking pretty good here for the Lions as uh, nobody going to be pressuring in A or uh, Bravo flag for the Pirates team. Yes. Going to uh, Dragolov. He is trying to push back on Delta. A lot of guys, though. Getting a few, getting a few shots, though. And some pretty sweet flying coming in here for Bon Bon as he would be able to take uh -huh. out a little boat and a couple of infantry. But he goes down. Very, very low on health there. I think that was a stray from attack jet. It was. And now Green Jeans is going to be able to take out the other team's jet attack jet. And he's going to be going for the stealth jet. Doesn't have to because oh. Nightwing ends up going down. And here comes a cruise missile as well by the Paracel Pirates, by Miloš. It's targeting Delta. It looks like it is. And nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah, another unsuccessful cruise missile. I think that the, the, the more these players get used to the cruise missiles, the less and less that they are going to be successful is they're going to know how to take them out uh, in the air. They're going to know how to to avoid them when they are going to be coming in. Dark Tan is going to be in the water. He's going to be making his way over here to that alpha flag, trying to go for a back range of his own. Nice. As uh, we're not seeing anybody back here to try and defend. Delta flag is going down very, very fast. But we do have a lot of infantry here for the Lions to try and stop that push. I'm uh, kind of interested in what John Stewart is going to be doing with this artillery piece here, as he has been sitting back on the Charlie flag for quite some time. Daddy Green Jeans, the A-10, ends up getting disabled on the enemy. Oh, no, he's about to crash. He does crash, but he's alive, guys. He somehow made it. That's what happens in real life. You sometimes hit trees, and you can jump out on your feet. You're good to go. But he's dead now. Let's keep on going. Looking around, it's 399 to 504 in favor of Pirates. With Echo being contested, Echo looking like it may go in the favor of Drunken Lions. But we did see Lions ended up, oh, they, they, they oh, brought that score oh, they, down oh, from about 250 down. tickets to about 100 here. So they're looking fairly decent right now uh, if they can hold on to uh, this three cap. And look at this, this finally they're starting to wake up. They know how this is working. They pushed a lot, a lot on Echo. They were able to get that grade out. And now they're going to be massing a lot of infantry and their armor up onto Charlie Flag. It'll be interesting if that, uh, that cruise missile, I don't think it got anybody. No, it only got John of, Stewart of Mill. Wiping them out. Only got John Stewart Mill, which isn't the same team as Milos. So that actually wasn't friendly fire. It was a fratricide. Going to Bon Bon again. What do we got for Bon Bon? He's just holding on Delta. We do notice that that, fine, that, uh, that Drunken Lions was able to take back Charlie. They really did need that in order to to uh, to hold this down. It does look like that Charlie is starting to be grayed out, though. Five, five pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we do have some small play coming out for Accelerate. Does miss that. Would have been awesome if uh, he was able to get it. Unfortunately, it was not, so that's going to allow a back raise to happen over here onto Alpha Flag, along with Get Wrecked with that attack or attack boat, uh, who's been a thorn in their side for both rounds one and two. Delta Flag will be getting contested uh, as well, so we might be seeing a, a flag trade happening with DNA. Who is that? Here, just a second. Zuni Rocket's coming out for Darkwind, though, onto that attack boat. Can he kill it? It's going to be fairly low right now, and he will be able to get the kill on it, so nice job there. And uh, the flag should be going back into their possession. And this is a chance here for Lions to come back. But no, B flag is going to be flashing. Charlie flag is going to be flashing. So we might be seeing a four cap coming in here uh, if they are not careful. Yes, looking at, uh, at, at, at Dragolarva, he is on Bravo trying to take it back. Going to in radar, I, tr I trust. 
He's trying to use the JDAM to his advantage. While hitting, while trying to hit the, the boat, ends up almost killing it. He's still up, though. Yes, it is a beautiful fight shaping up over here onto this Bravo flag. Uh, we have uh, a potential cheeky knife coming out, but no, that was going to be uh, unsuccessful as uh, Element will be getting back up. Saves that flag, I think, uh, for his team. Going to be able to get that burn back into their favor. No, we do have some infantry reinforcing here, so still losing the burn on this flag for the Pirates here. Yes. Lions making a really good play of coming back here. It's going to be their LAV and some infantry going to be making their way up to try and save it. Cruise missile will be coming in just to try and clean that up. And it, did they take out? They did. They yes. took out the LAV. Beautiful cruise missile it there. Was, it was and a good And that's cruise going missile. to be able, that's going to allow them to uh, to get this flag or to keep it grayed out. Yeah, that actually was a big deal for that cruise missile to hit and, and actually take out that enemy vehicle. This will give uh, Codename Deuce the opportunity to, to, uh, uh, collapse this building and hopefully get Bravo back, but it, it's still in the favor of, of Pirates. So they, he still needs to be able to uh, take this enemy uh, IFV out, no less. Yeah, Deuce is having some uh, trouble here. He's half the back up. He's got about 82 health on his LAV, 42 now. That was a big hit coming in. Yes. And he has to give up that flag. He cannot hold down on it. Artillery, though, may be proving too strong as it does take him down. Oh. Beautiful artillery play coming in here for the Pirates as they're just beasting it right now on this map. They said, Lions, you know what? You may have had a couple of good hits there, but it's our time to finish this out on the European servers as they're going to try and make it 4-0. That's right. It is 261 to 402. Alpha's being taken as well by Pirates. Lions had some, some pretty good back flanks there, but they're just not able to hold it. No, they weren't. I mean, it... Right now, Pirates are just playing so well. They're able to get all of their infantry shots. Uh, look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. 25-1 and one for this LIV driver. Drag, uh, was it Draglarv? Draglarv. Yes, uh, he is just beasting it right now in this vehicle, trying to make it 26-1 and one as uh, he's going to be fighting back and forth with the, uh, the Lions LAV. Not going to be successful in killing it, but does uh, push it back quite a bit. So he's going to be in spawn, and the UCAV finishing it off there at the last second also the LA or the uh, mobile AA has to back up as well and the attack jet or attack boat has to come in and try and save this flag but I, I don't know dash I mean this is just looking too good here for the pirates yes looking at uh, at at rune ends up getting taken out that's really big for pirates and he'll be able to hold this alpha point and that's what they're doing just that and as we see while wow, lots of fighting taking place and again this is uh this is dragalar cleaning up uh, the remaining infantry on Alpha. Incredible. Yeah, they're doing a great job here. A Bravo flag will be getting contested once again, but we have some back spawns coming here by Expandus. He's able to take out one, possibly the second one. He is going to be spotted out, so I don't know. 52 health left on him. Throws a couple of nades back up in there. Try and get him down. Uh, but uh, if anything, he's going to be allowing... Uh, his team to be spawning back in. Get Wrecked is also going to be coming in as well as uh, uh, Walk as they will be making their way back onto that Bravo flag. Stay is grayed out. Echo is going to be going back into the possession of Pirates and D is also going to be getting grayed out. So, I mean, just, just flag trading all over the place as we're also having Charlie Flag getting heavily contested and grayed out. Going to, to Walk Zamheed. He takes out one. Will he get a double here? No, he does get taken out, but does take out one of the Boom Baby crew. Boom Baby guys will take out, will take back Bravo. Or some of them will. Die looking for some uh, C4 kills here on top of the uh, the resort building. Doesn't look like he found any, but uh, he might be able to get a couple of good kills coming in here. I would like to kind of see the Levolution effect coming into play on the other side of uh, of the the resort building. That might actually help the lions out quite a bit, as uh, that gives them a lot more room to to maneuver from the pirate side of the map. B-Flag will be going into the favor of Lions as well as uh, Delta. So uh, it's, it's looking pretty good for the Pirates, I gotta say, Dasher. It, it is looking pretty good. Now, we see a cruise missile coming in. Is this cruise missile, what's this cruise missile gonna hit? Here it comes. What's it gonna hit? I don't think it, I don't see anything. Oh, there, oh, it's gonna hit over here. Bam. Not, oh, no, Milos ends up killing Snook Fingers instead of uh, the enemies. More fratter side. Mm -mm. Not good. But nonetheless, uh, 
Pirates does take Del Delta back. They are holding this down. 332 to 98. Counting. Bleeds in their favor. I love this uh, mine yes. placement. Look at this mine placement on Alpha. I mean, they are just... They, they are trying to put as many barriers uh, to success for drunken, drunken Lions. Excuse yeah, it, it really is some really good mine placement and something that we haven't been seeing from the Lions coming out. Uh, we're also going to be seeing some... Uh, just really good positioning coming back from both of them, and uh, we've been seeing UCAP play for the Pirates as a, in nothing for the Lions. I think that the Lions need to start implementing some UCAPs uh, to try and you know bring down those vehicles, the armor, push them back maybe a little bit. Uh, we're not really seeing a whole lot of that, but uh, yeah, 55 tickets left to go to 348. I think this is just about it here, Dash Girl. Yeah, going Daddy Green Jeans in the A10. Going in for a fight, will he end up hitting anything? Oh no! What did he get killed by? I think there was. I think that actually was a. Um, that was a, a collision. I most certainly think it was. So here at the very end of the map, we do have Deuce with a, a trying to come in at the last second onto this B flag to uh, to save it or to this Alpha flag. I'm sorry to save it. Don't think he's going to be able to do a whole lot. Has to have some infantry to come in here and back him up as uh, he was taking quite a bit of damage there. And uh, I think that basically the Lions know that this is it. There's really nothing they can do. There's one ticket left, and that is GG as 335 tickets. 4-0 for the Pirates as they will be going in to the second set of maps. It's a huge lead. Yes, yes, we'll be taking a break. I believe it's a 30-minute, 15-minute break. 15-minute break. And we'll be uh, going up back to the North American servers and playing Siege of Shanghai. Pushing on up. We got Boom Baby Mike. He is trying to hold it on his own, but this is going to be tough. Throwing nades. Wow. Wow, just look at that kill feed right now, though. I mean, it is all lions all day long. I mean, this is just, this is bad. Massive infantry push come in here for the uh, for the Lions as they're trying to get onto that Charlie flag. Might be their demise here as we're seeing a collapse on the backside for drag or not for Dragons, but for Pirates here. Yes. Charlie will be going into their favor, but B flag was also going to be getting contested, and it's now going to be grayed out. B flag is also going to be contested as well by the Pirates. Oh, my God. We might be seeing a four cap coming in here. For the uh, for the pirates, yes. the lions are not careful. And here comes the cruise missile as well. Where is that cruise missile going to go? I don't know. Let's start, keep on turning it around. Notice that they launched that as soon as they capped that flag. They were launching a cruise missile, and uh, it looks like the cruise missile is going out of nowhere. Uh, it was going way over here on the Charlie flag as he was trying to take out, get wrecked, and uh, do some damage with that attack boat as he was really, really hurting him on that last round. Uh, Alpha flag still going to be getting contested. Uh, pretty heavily here for the Pirates team. Looking at Bon Bon in the light helicopter. Uh, team Parasol Pirates on red. Need to switch out them names. There you go. Looking good. Here we are. Let's do this. All right, so here we go. We are going to be live. Watching the breakouts right now as we are going to be seeing both of the uh, the little birds go heading straight for that Charlie flag. No jets can be coming out for the U.S. team. Not really sure uh, what the delay is on that, but uh, Charlie flag will be taken by the uh, uh, Pirates team right from the get-go. We have a little bit of fight shaping up on Charlie flag. Don't know if he's going to be able to take him out as he's already going to be disabled yes. and up against the wall. Oh, and here comes a drop as well. Oh my goodness, uh, Bon Bon takes out Donut who tries to drop out. At the same time, I have V push on Charlie. This is a beautiful breakout here coming in for the Pirates. Look at that mine placing uh, up into the north of the map. Uh, just everywhere. Look We're at those mines. Nine slams being placed down. And yeah, they're gonna be making their push right onto that Bravo flag. This is a beautiful oh, breakout here comes coming in here. Wow, what a big push by the Pirates. 
we do see two players on uh, from Lions. Hey guys, last match of the 32 versus 32 level BF veteran tier scrimmage. The new season starts in just a week. This is not a real match, it's just a friendly scrimmage to get people ready to play. Drunken Lions versus Paracel Pirates this is the second round on Hanan Resort. Remember, you can sign up in the links below if you want to play an opener veteran tier. PC only for now, but it will be next-gen console when Predators come out, I assure you. Let's get into the action. Now we are 20 seconds until we begin the next round. The fourth round, switching sides. We have Team uh, Roar on blue, and we got Team...